Hey friends, welcome back with more Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is season eight, episode four. And last time we had the blue flu, bunch of cops decided to pretend to be sick to basically strike and do a PR stunt. Uh, we had Charles have a cancer scare, glad he's gonna be okay. Uh, we almost found out what uh, Holt's tattoo was. It seems like it's a tramp stamp. And uh, Rosa knows, but they cut it off right before we found out. Sad, but uh, I guess they're not going to reveal it at all in this series. We'll just have to leave it up to our imaginations. Anyway, guys, excited to continue with one more episode. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like, and let's get started. My white whale, he's finally resurfaced. I, you have another white yes, whale? this again. Johnny Franzia has been on a murder spree for the past 10 years, and every time he kills wow. someone, he taunts me. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe <laughs> I don't have an arch nemesis because I saw all my crimes. Ooh. Burn. Do you solve all your crimes? What about the one with the cat? That's a pretty up thing to say to me. <laughs> <laughs> the cat one took him a while. Your entire first year here, I was convinced you were Franzia, which I now realize wow. is completely ridiculous. Or is it? Or is it? I have no investment in this backstory. For our pilot program to reimagine how uniformed officers are deployed gets funded, it will represent oh, wow, they're continuing a significant this. reform for the NYPD. He isn't pulling himself up yet, but the window for that is nine to 12 months. So the fact that he's 10 months old and isn't doing it yet doesn't mean that we're bad parents. And I was reading that oh, Simone boy. Oh, boy. went straight from crawling to walking. So did that convince you to give us more responsibility? <laughs> if I promise you can handle it i'll put you back on the john fonzo case franzia how could you forget that unless get out you got it unless. <laughs> thank you for letting me stay with you dear we're not back together even after three full sessions that's three, three sessions hours. that's it more if you include that's it time. why would i include travel time it's a longer drive for me than for kevin so i'm putting in more effort. wow oh, it's not going well, well wow says, wow you're a lot chattier than i remember you being oh sorry well i promise i i want to talk about <laughs> kevin the whole time i'm here okay great although i may break that promise because 16 minutes later there are several other groups presenting reform proposals to one police plaza and only one will get funding wow, wow. because you can be a little competitive Tiny Terry won the little Mr. Michigan pageant. You just happen to have a video of yourself as a seven-year-old on your phone. Big Terry's proud of Tiny Terry. <laughs> the point is, you're supposed to be getting mad from daycare. Uh oh. <laughs> Finally down. Oh no. Is anything important with your case? He noticed that his kitchen window was mysteriously unlocked. Stupid oh, friend. Oh damn. Probably in his house right now trying Aww. to murder him and his family. No, no. Well, he's not here trying to murder me and Mac. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, Ames, but we both are <laughs> grasping at straws. <laughs> We got this. All we need is each other. There's been a lice outbreak at daycare and they're closing for the next two days. What? No! We need someone work to life. each other! Yeah, <laughs> work-life balance. Ugh, damn it, none of our... Let's just let Mac watch TV all day. Jake, we've talked about <laughs> this. No smell. This stress is making my head itch. Yeah, that's weird. Do you have I lice? Itchy myself. <laughs> you lice, lice. Scratching it makes it worse. Is that true? I don't know. We don't have time to know what's true. Okay, okay, let's just we don't on. have time to know when what's I true. In the fifth grade, my mom put a bunch of maple <laughs> syrup in my... Maple, maple syrup? syrup. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh my god. What is that enchanting new perfume? It is working. <laughs> I think you just made Scully horny. Uh. And then he called her Cheryl. I wish I could stop thinking about him, but he was my husband for 20 years. We could get really drunk. Yes, let's try that. We already have three applicants. Great. Make right. Charles the sitter. I think we should interview them first. But what if Hire them. Bad? This <laughs> <is> <laughs> bad. Because I was arrested in this precinct literally a year ago to the day. I brought a toy for the little guy. Oh, mm -hmm. thanks. That's very mm -hmm. nice of you. Mm -hmm. He's so soft. Your son's really going to enjoy cuddling him. I'm your nanny. I'll slap your fanny. Slap, slap, slap. Your fat little fanny. Yeah, it's gonna be a no. Feels like we should go with the cuddler. No! As long <laughs> as I want to work, we can't leave our son with some weirdo! Don't worry, I've uh -oh. got all the sharp edges in here. Wow. Oh. You already baby-proofed it? Uh, it's my no. nap room. You can take a nap anywhere in here. I don't know Sorry. how this could go Maybe poorly, to go but it will. I'm still on your tail, and your sick game is finally Help! gonna... Help! Oh, Oh, God. Uh, Mac okay? Mac's fine. It's me. There was one unpadded corner, and I stubbed my toe real bad. Look. <sighs> oh. I, I'm sorry. I gotta go to the hospital. Yeah, immediately. One option left. <gasps> His first screen time? This is amazing. Which Transformers movie should you watch first? Really? Go, Mac. Really? <clears throat> oh, damn. Broke to the damn phone. Yeah, we deserve that. 
Uh-huh. I'm hungover. It appears that I did think about him at least once last night. Drunk texting. At 3.30 a.m., I seem to have sent Kevin... A lot of drunk texts. A digital phallus portrait. A digital phallus portrait? What is that? A dick pic. Oh, no, you sent him a dick pic. Never slept with syrup in my hair before. I didn't know that was going to happen. Is today, Damn. And I am not showing up in a shower cap. We got this. Yeah, this is Max. Not be where's Max? You want to know why? Because we're great parents. In fact, we forgot Max. We left our child inside. Uh, get the keys. keys. He's in interrogation right now, just waiting for you. Oh, watch I Max. Max. Hour. I can't run an interrogation. Have Charles watch Max. Unless something stinks. Something stinks real bad. It's Max. Did you poop? No. You did. You pooped. Oh, God. Charles. It's everywhere. Charles. You eat. I'm going to take your pants off and I'm going to Charles. Wipe your tushy. What is going on? I actually <laughs> have the same question. Hold on one second. Jake. Why did I send Kevin <laughs> an obscene picture? Relax. It's not a big deal. No, Kevin only checks his email once a day at exactly 4 p.m. Oh. You didn't text it to him. We're not teens. Let's delete it off his computer then. Yes, that could work. Here, Kevin, attach. Please find a picture of my penis. Sincerely, Raymond Hall. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> Oh. French class must have ended early. Franzia was the weird Oh, what? He gave the bug right to you. Son of a bitch. We could call that creepy babysitter you like so much. The babysitter is Franzia. Even better. Two birds with one stone. We're um, to you. We're not giving um, a baby to a serial killer. Um. <laughs> oh, grow up. We missed this presentation. Jake has waited years for this. No, he can make the arrest without me. Without you, there is no presentation. I'll take Mac. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. I realized halfway through that these sweatpants are from a bachelorette party I went to, and they say WAP. Oh. But I told them it stands for We All Police. Hey, wish me luck in there. Good luck. Oh, oh, what the hell? Austin, we're. Terry, holy <laughs> crap. Okay. He peed himself. Tiny Terry did what he had to do. <laughs> so right as we get there, we have to feed this baby some mushed up avocado. Oh. Is Mac okay? He got to see he it. He just pulled himself up. <laughs> Worth it. Maybe you should let him know you've been missing him. Huh. With that, a dick pic. Might be worth a shot. I texted him a picture of my penis like you suggested. No. Oh. <laughs> I meant for you to call him and tell him you've been thinking about him. Oh my God! Say that. <laughs> I thought it was understood. Hold on, <laughs> he's writing back. It's a scatter plot with a very robust data set. I won. Oh. What? I have That's a wonderful. To start immediately. I celebrated in the hallway before I walked in. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh. How'd it go here with Mac? Fine. Mellow. He pulled himself up. Wait, what? I guess we really can't do it all. You got to do the work thing, and I got to do the parent thing, so together, we did do it all. You're gonna wake up Mac and see Phil pull up, aren't you? Obviously, he is not sleeping until he does it again. No! Well, don't go without me, because I want to see it. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Octavia uh, Spencer, NBC Tonight. <laughs> these bozos. <laughs> I'm very happy they continued the storyline with implementing better policing regulations, finding different methods of uh, deploying uniformed officers. Very curious to see where this show is going to go with this and what kind of commentary they're going to make on real life policing and the NYPD. Uh, but yeah, Amy bringing it home for the squad, the precinct, the city with her uh, presentation, great presentation. Uh, even though she had the WAP on the back of her sweatpants, we all police. <laughs> uh uh, but yeah, this, so far this season, I like the ways they rope Rosa into each episode, um, despite the fact that she doesn't even work in the precinct anymore, because it doesn't feel forced at all, which is somewhat surprising to me. If you had told me beforehand that she is outside of the precinct, but still showed up in every episode, I would have thought that it might have felt a little forced, but so far so good. Uh, I also feel like we've only gotten to see the comedic side of Terry this season so far, and... We only have four episodes left in the series, so I hope we have an episode or two where he's not solely used for comedic relief. Uh, but yeah, Holtz with his dick pic. Sorry, his digital phallus portrait. It's just much more regal founding, right? Uh, Dear Kevin, please find attached a picture of my penis. Sincerely, Raymond Holtz. <laughs> I mean, even his dick pic is so formal, and he goes through so much work to delete it, and then he sends it again, texts it to him, when he's stone-cold sober, which is... Uh, <laughs> glad it worked out for him. 
I mean, I guess the etiquette with dick pics is a little different if you've been married for 20 years. Um, don't try to send a dick pic if you don't know who you're sending it to and they don't they didn't ask for it. Uh, but I'm glad we got to see Jake uh, this episode as a parent a little bit more because it felt like it was mostly Amy in the first few episodes. And yeah, Jake put his wife and the city's needs over his own personal glory with Franzia. Uh, instead, Charles got all the glory instead. Um, but couldn't Charles have watched Mac? He went on to deal with the Franzia case. If he and Jake just switched places, I mean, I guess at some point, Charles was much more up to date uh, about the case. He was running point on the case, but that hurt a little bit. I mean, Jake certainly wouldn't trade seeing his son pull himself up for the first time, but uh, I guess it's regretful that he couldn't do both because um, they're both trying so hard to do it all, and sometimes you can't. Uh, but yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to have continue to have poignant moments with him and Amy coming to terms with that. Um, but yeah, this is it's it's compelling seeing them work work through it and try to have it all. Uh, but yeah, Amy and Jake's uh, dynamic was very funny this episode. Uh, when they find out they have lice, Amy's like, don't scratch it, it makes it worse. And Jake is like, is that true? Uh, I don't know, we don't have time to know what's true. I don't know why that line is so funny to me. <laughs> I don't, we don't have time to know what's true. Uh, that was fantastic. A fantastic line. Uh, and then Amy's insistence that they hand Mac over to the serial killer for babysitting come on grow up jake and uh i don't say this often but i'm gonna i'm gonna side with jake on this one uh what other standout moments were there in this episode uh jake and charles with the harmonized son of a bitch uh and i gotta mention that opening maybe i don't have an arch nemesis because i solve all my cases and then there's that glorious long pause that's a pretty fucked up thing to say to me that was really really great um one of, probably one of my favorite cold opens in the series i don't have like a personal top 10 but i have to imagine it's up there uh super super funny anyway guys uh really really enjoying brooklyn 99 this season uh we've only got four more episodes left already though that's so sad two more episodes next week and two more the week after that um but yeah looking forward to seeing how they wrap this all up i'm hoping for some cameos still i'm still we have to have a uh doug judy episode right and maybe we have a heist episode i don't know uh, it doesn't feel like there's enough time left for everything but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, the full, uh, if you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, leave a like. really helps with the channel. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, friends.